So I feel too, so I feel okay, I'm back again, I'm back again. So this time, from now on, one of these videos where I got to remix a track using the Afro Tech this time. I've done it in house, I've done this in his style. But okay, today we <coughs> tackling the sound, which is inspired by Enunapa. I think this guy is obviously one of the best producers in the world when it comes to Afro, Afro House and Afro Tech. Obviously, I think one best producer could track us last year or the year before that, I'm not sure. But okay, let's get into the track straight. I want to tell you guys what inspired what and how everything supposed to go. What I was aiming for cool track was the Afrotech hard stuff. I think you guys liked the previous video I did, but then I had to do something similar but get it different at the same time. So this style is usually clean and not a lot of drums. That's why I like about it. The drums are less drums. Once you have less drums, you're obviously going to have a better mix of Ingomayako because the things that are there will obviously sound clearer than things that are not there or than when there are many drums could track here. So let's start with the drums, obviously. So I went with this type of rhythm, the track. Now that's the simple type of rhythm that I went with and I thought I should like keep it throughout the track and let bass I think it's powerful enough. It's from Serum, Chunky Bass Chop 2. As you can see there's less drums up. I didn't even use Lena, I can delete it. I didn't use this one too, I can delete that. I, can, I didn't use these, I can delete that. I didn't use this also, I can delete that. So I... <laughs> yeah, so just one, two, I, I think I didn't use this. I don't remember using this thing also. But I'm not sure. Yeah, as you can see, it's muted, which means I obviously didn't use it too. So basically, I didn't use this one also. Hey, now I'm starting to think what did I use? Maybe we should check it. I see, you can see my playlist is very simple also, and this pattern is the one that has been playing. So this I didn't use also. I can delete that. So what I was in Foglia rhythm is like, does just the shakers and the sounds and layers, not even too much layers, but okay, this is what I was aiming for, this rhythm. The rhythm is obviously accompanied with the shakers later on. First one, later on, second one. The type of groove let track is you park like on the exact kick yeah well quick kicks his arm like the net in a groove no quick kicks his arm yeah, well. and then another one and that's how this guy usually kills those remixes there's not much drums but what he has is always quality that's why you have to careful if you're going to use less drums because with the moment you go for less drums you have to make sure those are the quality drums you have they are the best that you can get at that time so again then i used later on i introduced this guy this guy brings uh like dope texture good track and then it's just a layer of e e bass um Just follows the same rhythm as the bass so i just gotta put it there here well, this one to top things off and then that's it just the simple ride i introduced when i had it towards the climax young Oma, and then everything else is done when it comes to drums but it may sound easy or it may be easy as you look at it as you look at it or when you see me doing it but <laughs> Definitely not that easy, especially if you do not understand like the type of sounds and the genre, how the particular sounds they usually use when making those type of tracks. So that's why for me, I didn't struggle that much. And then again, we'll see with sounds. Now let me start with the sounds. I have a pad, a simple pad. A simple dark pad, straightforward, calm down, good nexus. And then the same pad, I just added his key, Uchi. So the reason why I added this G at this point is for some tension yarn and then I resolved it by going back to the to the same guy here. Later on, you know Enunapa approaches his e climax by usually introducing another type of progression 
which is what I also did here. I have this progression. Let me play the pads, both of them. the reason why i played all of that i wanted you guys to see how i head towards the climax of the track by slowly introducing more and more progressions and then slowly opening a cut off your pad and then i have the, the the sound which i just throw in the galoma clash i like how he does also <laughs> First things first, the vocal, I won't be able to play all of it because I'm thinking the copyrights would like get back to me at some point if I do that. But okay. <laughs>
Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Guys, that's the track. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, the project will be available for purchase. A link, I think I'll pin it and put it good description. And then the track, uh, I'll probably drop it on my other channel whereby I upload everything, including vocals. This one, I won't risk it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and Tell me more of which other tracks I should try remixing and which style I should approach. I love those type of videos actually because they're a bit challenging using a lot of my tricks. And I have to like study these producers and see how they can help me improve. So okay, I'll hear from you which one I should tackle next for now.